Good morning and welcome to the Kyoto Samurai Experience. I'm here today by popular demand thanks to you guys on Instagram who told me I need to check out a samurai class while I'm in Kyoto, the most historic city in all of Japan. So what better way to experience that than with a little taste of the samurai. Let's go inside. Hey, good afternoon. <laughs> Hello. Come on in. I wasn't expecting to see you here. <laughs> well, I'm not the samurai, but I am your. I will be your interpreter today. It's my interpreter. What was your name? Oh, uh, my name is El. Nice, nice to, to meet you. <laughs> How are you? Look at this place. This is actually a approximately 250 year old residence. Actually, the person who was the original owner was a samurai a vassal over at Nijo Castle, and then about a 10 minute walk from here. Wow. Nice. So this is a real samurai. Household. Yes. How about this? First, we'll just open the uh, small little door. Oh, Watch this. your head. <laughs> I thought it was the whole thing. You know, well, it all starts with a traditional samurai home in Kyoto. Everything designed with purpose and efficiency. No nails. Everything is just hammered in. Hammered in where it's supposed to go. Built with a mindset that a home invasion is a real and even probable threat. Low-hanging beams are positioned so that attackers can't swing their swords. Small doorways and blockades make it difficult for groups of invaders, and secret passages allow for easy escape routes. It's only the second fanciest room, it's my favorite. Come on in. All while featuring beautiful hand-drawn paintings, engraved family crests to show nobility, and that overall classic Japanese minimalism for those welcomed guests. Now it's time for you to start your samurai training, so we'll head inside to the final room. Come on in. Konnichiwa. Hello, konnichiwa. Here you go. It's transformation time. I change into a traditional and very comfortable martial arts outfit, and then I settle in to learn from my temporary master, Masato Tabata. First, and the most fitting way to begin a training is with understanding the bow. Two hands on the ground at once means they're saluting a person of respect or in a higher position. But if a samurai bows with his left hand, then right hand, it signifies that they're ready for all possible scenarios because their right hand is only away from their sword for an instant. This is used for peers, frenemies, and perhaps ah, even okay. ex-girlfriends? Hey! Masato continues with a brief history of samurai or bushi culture. And what I found most interesting was that samurai are not only warriors, but were an entire caste of citizens in Japan. They were essentially aristocrats, and they ruled over farmers and merchants by way of the sword. A sword that had a deep psychological connection with its owner. But as Masato tells me, the ultimate goal of a samurai is actually peace, not war. And for that, he had an important task for me to accomplish before I could ever touch a sword. Zen meditation through a series of singing bowls. A practice that samurais use to help clear their minds for complete focus before and during battle.
With a clear mind and slightly ringing ears, I'm ready for the next step. The sword, or katana. I graduated to a real sword. Pretty nervous when I caught this bamboo. We go through the proper footwork. Stay low, level head, swift movements. And Masato tells me that samurai movies are nonsense. Your goal is to kill as fast as possible, without any long back and forth or clinging swords. And now, it's time to face my most worthy opponent on the battlefield. How did I do? Very excellent. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, really? Alright. <laughs> Thank you very much. We, we, you know, for most people we'd say you're Jujutsu Kaisen. Well, we wouldn't quite say quite so much. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> An amazing experience. I got a little taste of samurai life, what it might have been like back in those times at a traditional place with a great samurai teacher and a great samurai translator. Is that what we call it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it was a great experience. If you guys are ever in Kyoto, you got to check it out. I feel good. I feel a little more centered today. A little more ready for anything. See me in the streets.